Hi, this is Bruce Perlow, I'm the CEO of Eco Harmony, and I'm here with uh, Dennis's father, who you saw in the earlier videos, and this is Joe Rock. We talked about you, uh, Joe, and uh, welcome to our office here in Las Vegas. And Joe, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background in mining, and then some of these stones that are going to be going into the uh, Hidden Treasures uh, Gemstone Hemp Candle, and then we're also, on this video, going to announce the second product we're going to um, release, uh, hemp product with gemstones. So, uh, background and where you're from and yes. your mines. Uh, yeah, Bruce, uh, thank you, and it's great to be in Las Vegas, and we just got through with the jewelry show, the best jewelry show in the world, with about 3,000 exhibitors uh, the last five days. But anyway, I'm going to tell you something about me that you don't probably know. And people ask me, how did I get to Brazil? And you never asked that question to me yet. Joe, how did you get to Brazil? Good. Now <laughs> we can start to... I uh, went to Brazil in the Peace Corps. Cool. And you didn't know that, so it... Uh, and how did I get to... Well, where did you come from? Okay, now, the, how did I get to the Peace Corps? I graduated, I was uh, graduating my senior year at the University of Nebraska. I went to the Student Union. There was a recruiting table there for the Peace Corps. And I had a half hour before my next class, so I filled an application and, and never dreamed or even thought I'd be going in the Peace Corps, but about a couple, uh, six weeks later, I get an invitation for training, and it was a training package, and they said I'm going to have a 200 hours of Portuguese classes, and I said, hey, somebody made a mistake, I'm not going to Portugal, <laughs> and here I am, a college graduate, and I didn't realize Brazil spoke Portuguese, or speaks Portuguese, and and I thought I would say, when I filled out the application, I says, you know, I says, where would you like to go? And I said, well, South America or, or anywhere. And I said, well, if I'm going to learn another language, I might as well learn Spanish. And so that was my first eye-opening on, on the international stage. Because before this, before I went to Brazil, I, was, I don't think I was maybe once or twice out of the state of Nebraska. So anyway, I got a degree in, in agriculture, ag economics. Went to Brazil in a agricultural project, which was uh, a very rewarding. I was worked in the uh, state of uh, assigned to the state of Minas Gerais, which and which uh, translated means General Mines. So Belo Horizonte, Minas Gerais, means the beautiful horizon in the state of the General Mines. So that's this is all from Minas Gerais. Cool. To so, make a long story short, so this is I, I was signed uh, in in the rural area. Got to know some of the people that were in the mining business and digging, and so that's before long I was digging myself. <laughs> so all of this mm -hmm. beautiful collection of gemstones, which we're going to talk about in a mm -hmm. second, all came from the initial catalyst mm -hmm. was your desire actually to work at the Peace Corps and help people. Correct. Mm -hmm. So interesting how mm -hmm. the sequence of events, and we talk a lot about that in quantum economics, how mm -hmm. a sequence of events uh, which starts with a pure motive or operating from the heart, which you obviously were. You didn't go down there to, you know, seize power or anything. You went down there to help. You were operating mm -hmm. from the heart. And it comes back all these years later with, as you'll see in a moment, um, our marketing abilities um, with another guest that we have here. Uh, will make it a very, very lucrative joint venture with uh, Brazil and the miners down there and our kin's domains up here in America. So uh, the first thing I want to ask you is um, tell us about some of these stones and, uh, and what they are. Okay, these are all basically the quartz family. Uh, the quartz is the number one quartz is amethyst. I think most people recognize amethyst as a purple stone. Now let me stop you right there. Mm -hmm. This is a batch of amethyst mm -hmm. that will be in the first batch of the gemstone hemp candles. That, Correct. Uh, mm -hmm. right, now I want to explain that. We're only marketing, this is an initial 
introductory offer, don't think this is going to happen all the time, where 40% of the rebates will go to the customer and 40% goes to Patch Adams based Patch Adams organization based on a specific formula that you'll see on our website. But we will not have, I promise you, stones this big in the next generation of candles. There's 1,555 candles, uh, three different scents, and we are just doing this as an introductory offer, and they're numbered, so people want to get their their orders in as early as possible because the lower numbers are probably more, a lot more valuable in, a, in terms of a collector's edition. So, yes, as you can see, these uh, uh, carat wise, uh, carat weight uh, gemstones are measured in carats, and uh, these would this is about a 30 carat stone. So, you can imagine the cost that it would. We can't do to 1,500 in the future. I think. That, the prices that you're given on the candles, we can't do it forever. Right, and it's again, this is an introduction. And Joe is working with us. Yes, and we we're given a very good price. I'm giving him my cost on these uh, to help out to get started on the on the candle project. So this is a quartz. This is amethyst. Uh, this is uh, the yellow stones. Is a citrine, and uh, the more green. This is a green gold citrine. Uh, all coming from the state of Minas Gerais, and uh, let's see, then this is a assortment of garnets, uh, there's uh, opal, this is kind of a, what we call a manufacturer's mix, this would go to a manufacturer where they would make a assortment of uh, different rings, earrings, etc. These average about one to two carats each. And what are these? Because these will also be in the first run. These nice big. Uh, yeah, these cabochons. Uh, they. Uh, this. Are, these are not from Bolivia. I mean, not from Minas right? They're from Bolivia. This is ametrine, which is a mixture of both the citrine and amethyst. I'm actually the one that named this stone uh, ametrine. I got a very nice article in Gem and Gemology uh, when it came out because I was the first one to bring these on the market. And I did the mining over in Bolivia, which is a completely different other story. Uh, with, uh, the place where this was mined, there was nobody living within at least a 50-mile radius of the mine. We had to fly in in a small planes on a small landing strip. And it's another, we could spend two hours talking about this money project. So your son was right. You're a wild guy that goes all over the place. Right. That was one of the most wild, <laughs> yes. And what about these stones over here? That is one of the most popular stones right now. This is a, another, the quartz family. It comes from the state of Minas Gerais in Brazil. And it has a, uh, needles of rutile. And this is the best quality of rutile. It has uh, the golden rutile. Uh, this is, uh, can be done in, this, in the cabochon form, or it can be also in the faceted form. So it's a very one of the most desirable stones now, especially for the uh, silver jewelry market now. So obviously the uh, hidden candle gemstones will mm -hmm. sell out. You know, we're all betting here at the office how fast. I said a week because I'm the eternal optimist. Uh, David Tobias, our president, who's the eternal pessimist, we have a nice balance in our network, says they'll never sell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My wife says they'll sell fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joni says six months. She's sometimes pessimistic. Uh, Barry says um, six weeks. So we'll see. I've done this before with a collector series, you know, 10,000 phone cards in my past. And when you have a numbered, sequential numbered uh, collector's edition, limited edition run, 10,000 sold out. So 1,500, I don't think sure. we'll have any problem.